The project JEST, funded by the state government to empower the girl child, began in 2020 with 450 girls benefiting while 900 others benefited in the second stream in 2021. For this year's session, which is the third stream, over 17,000 persons applied, given the success stories of the program, but only 500 applicants scaled the rigorous tests. During the workshop at Iseluku, a Nyoche North local government area, Commissioner for Girl Child Entrepreneurship and Development, Mrs. Nkechi Enuma Chukura, said the program would equip girls of the state's origin who are between 18 and 30 years to become professionals. She listed the skill areas to include hairdressing, makeup, fashion design, baking and confectioneries, photography and barbing. She said the beneficiaries would undertake a three-month internship with the best trainers in the state, stressing that the trainees would be guided and closely monitored to enable the project achieve results. The governor of Delta State has been able to take the girls of Delta State off the street. So a lot and a lot of empowerment are going on in Delta. Okay? So that's why we know that if given opportunity to be the vice president of this nation, this Nigeria will have a good turnaround. Flagging off the event, Commissioner for Youth Development, Comrade Ifani Eguienga, said Governor Fanny Okowa had remained a youth-friendly and focused leader in youth empowerment. Comrade Eguienga, who represented the governor at the event, said Project Just was one of the numerous programs of government to build capacity of youth and transform families. Just show commitment of Delta State government have not just shown unequal commitment to just empowering youth, but have also showed extra commitment to ensuring that the sustainability of this program are seen to the very end by creating the, the, the directorate of youth monitoring and mentoring to ensure that you are not just empowered, then we follow you up, the government follows you up, the government ensures that you stay in business. The PDP Delta North senatorial candidate, Prince Ned Woko, the state PDP deputy governorship candidate, Sam Monde Onyeme, and the PDP candidate for Eka North East constituency, who is also the initiator of the project jest, Mrs. Marilyn Okowa, congratulated the participants and urged them to make good use of the opportunity. To be selected for this program, and I know that they will appreciate the opportunity by remaining focused. Be true. Training air time in the Indian nation. Take this very, very serious. Make sure that you learn. That many more will come after you, but they can only come after you if you will show the government that we have yielded from training you in your various skills. Eunice. Emezia reporting.